this is Sky Sport News. I'm Christina Eddy. All aboard the bus. That's a Hurricanes' latest mantra after recruiting Julian Savia for the rest of Super Rugby. Back from a two-year stint in France, Savia is replacing departing winger Ben Lamb at the Wellington franchise. Look, mate, he's a, played 100, 100 games for the Hurricanes and he's, he's a big part of what's happened here in the past. And um, mate, we're looking forward to the experience he can come and bring in for two weeks and, and help boys along and, and compete in that uh, outside back spot. His call-up comes as the Hurricanes deal with a mounting injury ward after four consecutive victories. It's tough, mate. It's I know there's a lot of talk around it, but I haven't really seen the intensity of the last four weeks. Obviously, we've just played four in a row, and, and mate, I'm not sure we would have been able to go five, to be honest. Injuries ruled out All Blacks midfielder Nani Laumape for the rest of the season. He'll undergo surgery later this week on his broken wrist. Silver Ferns coach Noling Toto has officially received her damehood at Government House this afternoon. The World Cup winning mentor was recognised in the New Year's honours, becoming just the third netballer to receive the accolade. I feel if anything it's just maybe the start and probably a bit of a kickstart for me to get things moving and to um, back up I suppose what I've received today. So um, yeah I'm quite emotional about it, I never thought I would be if I'm going to be honest. It's sort of something that I'm used to in being out there but it's very emotional. Toto is keeping a close eye on the ANZ Premiership before she names her Silver Fern squad in a month. The Braves have powered to a blowout 14-1 win over the Mets in New York. It was one-way traffic for Atlanta, who blasted four home runs in the dominant victory. Three two Those things just don't go hand in hand normally. Pretty well struck right field. Conforto back, back some more, and that one is gone. Look at the power from Dansby Swanson. Have a night. In the air to center, Nimmo chasing back, turning and looking, and it's gone. Oh my goodness, there's some power from that left side. The Braves now head to Florida tomorrow to take on the Tampa Bay Rays. And while fans at home and those at ground level saw some great tries at Eden Park yesterday, the best views were way up on the Sky Sport rooftop tour. 34 metres above the hallowed turf, and with a 360 degree view of Auckland, the walk takes you along the edge of the roof before a final stop at the Lean Out platform. Starting in August, the tours will be available all year round with the best view of the best tries. Good solid scrum from the Blues. Christy, Fayani overran it almost, but they quickly get it through their hands and knifing through is Matt Duffy, and he will score the opening try. Stage two of the tour will involve a zip line stretching across Eden Park, which I'm sure will make for a death-defying experience. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching Sky Sport News, but for a full wrap of the day, be watching The Crowd Goes Wild at 7 o'clock.